Hello everyone, we are coming on to do a blog hop um, from Team Scrimpy, which is a Stampin' Up base group and it is the team leader for us is Amanda Charlesworth, who is known as Scrimpy. She's Scrimping Mummy on YouTube and the idea was to make a project using the new annual catalogue uh, not sorry the new autumn winter catalogue and i wanted to do something that i haven't tried yet and this is something i haven't done yet which is one of the pop-up exploding boxes so i've done the base work because i don't want the video to be three hours long but the tutorial I followed was by, wait a minute, I did that, was by Sylvia Ames and it's on Paper Mill Direct um, and it gives you all your measurements. Mm. It's very clearly explained um, and I found it easy to follow. So that's where I would advise you to get an idea about it um i will leave the link in the description bar for you to pop over there and get your base done um the only difference i rounded the corners just to be different okay so i am going to be using the new signs of santa um and the santa signpost dies and the DSP, which has got thousands of little characters in it. Um, I have already cut that out and embossed it with gold. Just for a wee bit of something. And that will be going on the back. That will be my um, feature on the back of it. Whoops. So glad this falls through. It's fantastic. Um, so this was the stamp I used. It's a photopolymer stamp set. As you can see, I've used that and it has stained it a little because I use my Versafine. I just find it is a grey ink and it's good for embossing with as well. Let me just fix this pile before it collapses in front of me. Behave. There we go. Yeah, so... I am just going to decorate my little box using all my wee characters from the DSP, which is phenomenal. Um, no need to stamp and colour, you just need to die cut. So let me just lift this up a bit for you so you can actually see my whole desk and see what I'm doing. Now, for positioning them in there. I haven't done this before so it's all new to me. Um, I am just going to use little strips of card on the back of them so they can come up. Um, for future ones I would maybe think of putting them on some um, wire, coiled wire so they spring about. Just an idea. But for today, I am just keeping it quite simple um, because, as I said, I don't want to be stuck here for three hours on one tutorial. So I'm going to pull these out because there is, honestly, there is tons of these things. Um, you get so much from the DSP um, that it's hard to say it's not worth its money. Um, this is a snowman one which is also really cute and I might use a few of those characters. We'll see how things go. But let me see. If I put Santa in here, I might need to cut off this wee guy. So let me just snip him off. Or will we, will we use the other Santa? There's another Santa with a big long list. Let me find them first. Mm -mm -mm. Where are you, Santa? 
Honestly, there is so many of these things. There we go. I knew they were there somewhere. So we'll just shuffle, shuffle them all aside. Right, so we've got this wee Santa here. I think I'll position him near the back under his North Pole sign. Yep. Right, so I'm going to just start sticking down, all right? So we're not here forever. In fact, I think I'll use Tombow because this has just about run out. Just a little spot here and there, and I'm just going to smudge that a little because it was too much. Right, and I want that up here, like that. And then we'll have Santa at the other side. I just think it's so cute. There's so many little characters in it. Right, you stick down and stop playing silly beggars. You straighten up. There we go. Right, then we've got Mrs. Claus. We'll maybe put her here. So I only need to wait a minute. I think I might support her actually and put a little bit of something at the back just so she's reinforced a little. Because if she's popping up, I don't want her to get crushed. So let me just right let me see. So if I put that on there. Oops. Just added some glue on the back over and I'm going to just stick that on there. And then we want her in the front here. I'll just snip that down a bit. And what I have got is just some of this same DSP because I don't want it to be known. Do you know what I mean? I don't want the white shown. So we will add that on there. Like so, and then just trim it down. Now it doesn't need to be perfect, but as long as the bulk of it is covered, it will make a difference. And for me personally, I will be die cutting, I won't do it on camera simply for the time factor, but. I will die cut out Mrs. Christmas and back her with white so that it's not um, mismatched. But as you'll see when I put that in there, you can't see the white on the support bar now. So we will add a bit of glue on there so she sticks well. And we will bring this forward and position her where we want her. And just remember, you have got the ability to go in underneath, whoops, to go in underneath and just use your bone folder and just burnish that to make sure it's stuck down really well Okay, because we don't want her coming unstuck. So 
so we're starting to get a nice wee feel for that DSP. So next up we want um, an elf. Let me just see. I think we'll have a green elf there because we have already got quite a few reds. So I'm going to just stick this in. It's going down a bit further. Um, if I tilt that up this way so you can see. I'm going to put them in a wee bit further. Whoops. So you can still see it. And when I back it on with the other um, die cut, the white die cut, it will support it. So I am going to... Oops, gluing the whole thing, silly me. I'll just take a little bit of that off and we'll position him in there like so. So cute. Right. Then we've got a wee sleepy one. So I could add him beside them. Let me see, or we could add the red running beside them. I think we'll add the red running beside them. Because my wee elves like to go in pairs. Whoops. Press that in like so, and you can still see Merry Christmas and Santa, you can still see them, which is what we want. Then we've got a little one here with a present. I think we'll use that. Wait to see if I've maybe got a mm, maybe it will be okay. Yep, we'll put that in beside Merry Christmas. That's just what I call her, Mary. What we've been brought up calling her. There we are. That little present's there. Then we want to add... A wee pile of presents, I think. Let me see if I can find it. We'll go get a wee pile there. I think we'll add that on the front, maybe. Yeah, we'll add that on the front. There. Like that. Then we've got a little cart that I'm going to layer on there as well. Oops, stuck to my hand. Oops, so I'm just adding a tombow on there. Leave it on the handle and replace that near the toys. And then there is a little pile of presents somewhere. I like that wee guy, he's quite cute. Um, there we go, there's our pile of presents. And I think I'm going to chop a few of these down, so just let me... I just want to put a few loose ones on the trolley, so they're almost layered. Oops, that's that one. I'm just fussy cutting these out a bit more. Right, 
Right, there we go. So we want <coughs> this wee red one. Oops, there's a wee line of paper there. We want that on the trolley. I'm just positioning that in third. And just make it a bit ski with. Then we've got the next size up. And we'll hit that just there. And then we've got this wee guy here that we could maybe, let me see if I can position him maybe in the back of them. Don't get on your stuck tight. I'm going to put you down a second ago. Yeah, I like that. So we'll just stick him down a wee bit. He's got a wee present there as well. And then, let me see. Hmm. Do I add another line in there? No. I don't think I will. So let me see what else I'm missing. So we've got some candy cane bits. Let me just see. Because we could have a wee candy cane on one of the elf's hands. Like he's trying to catch his brother. Like so. That's cute. And then we've got this one here, which is the North Pole, but that's going to obstruct vision, so I might leave that off, or we could put it at an angle, chop these bits off maybe. No, I think I'm going to leave that like that. I think that's quite cute. And it does fold down to go into a square envelope. Um, I think it's 15 centimetres, but I will check that. But it's just cute. We've got all the characters there. It's lovely. And you could decorate the other sides as well. You could add your... You've got wee characters on trains and... Like this little guy here. You could add him on the train at the side. It's totally up to you. You could maybe even add it inside there. I don't know if they'll fit in there. Hmm. But you've got ones here with little presents, they would fit in there. So you can do things like that, just play around with it. Um, I have got a few little snowflakes I'm going to add. These are also in the, the dies. Um, so we've got a big one. I think I'll do them on the side actually because there's a bit much going on on the rest of it so I'm just going across to make sure it sticks I'm not adding thousands I will just add a few on each side so again just a little crisscross over the top Stick it down, and then maybe two small ones. That's one and two. Oops, 
they kicking monkey like that make sure the ones are stuck down better and then we just turn and do the other side so just a little crisscross on that one medium one Oops. And then we'll do two small ones again. Oops, that slipped a wee bit there. Like that. Come on, behave. Because my fingers are sticky now. There we go. So as you can see, I haven't put thousands of decoration on it but I think that's really cute so I hope you've enjoyed that I hope that you have enjoyed the hop um, and have popped over to the other channels um, and we also have a blogger in our team so she has got a blog that you can pop over with it oh, excuse me but you will see some gorgeous products in this hop um, to give you up for Wednesday's launch. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.